Dowie here with Empower Yourself with Healthy Living. Today, I wanted to talk about sunscreen and ways that we can protect us ourselves from the sun. So I kind of feel like the sun has been made out to be the bad guy, yet what we have lost is what the true benefits are to, um, to the sun and our bodies. And what is not a benefit and where I think a lot of issues come in is a lot of the toxins that we're putting on our skin that cause us to have issues and um, some bad things happen to our bodies. And so I wanna to talk to you today a little bit about some natural solutions. So it was interesting. So every day my dog goes outside and she literally lays in the sun for about 20 to 30 minutes between the hours of 11 and one. And literally you guys, I've watched this every single day and she's my dog and I'm like, what does she know? Um, and what she knows is that the sun actually helps with many different things within the body. Um, it can help with vitamin D. Um, it can help with you to get a better night's sleep. It actually has helped people lower blood pressure, helps with mood. I mean, there's so many different things that the sunshine helps us with. But we've been taught that the sun is bad, right? And I want to kind of change that, okay? So yes, too much of a good thing is not necessarily a good thing. But I want to tell you this summer, my kids and I have been outside in the sun a lot. And we live in mid-Texas, okay? In mid-Texas, it's been in the hundreds. Um, many days of the summer, the sun is really hot all day long. And we have literally been able to spend hours upon hours without um, getting sunburn. First of all, in the spring, um, as, as it's getting to be summer, we start by going out into the sun in little spurts, okay? So we get, I, we get kind of a base tan first um, in order to um, get that mel melanin, let's see, what is it? Um, melanin to, um, to the top, okay? And the melanin helps to um, protect us as well. But as we're getting that little bit, it's helping with our mood, it's helping with our sleep and things like that. And then when we go to the water park, um, a lot of times what happens is um, people get sunburned because they're in the water all the time. And you guys, we went to lakes and um, the water park numerous times in all kinds of places that most people would get sunburned if they stayed out between the hours 11 and 2. And me and my kids didn't. And so what you have to be careful of is sunscreens. When you're looking at the ingredients, a lot of them are toxic. Um, to our skin and our bodies um, and these toxins actually enter in through our skin and can wreak havoc within our body and so we want to be careful of what we're putting on it so first of all is did you know you can protect yourself from the inside out and how we do that is by taking some good quality supplements um, fish oils are amazing from the inside out to help to protect you from the skin or from the sun um, and from other toxins as well and so my kids and I, my kids, they take a kid's supplement that is um, a, has an omegas in it, omega-3s. And I do an adult set of supplements called the Lifelong Vitality Pack. It's actually a three set of vitamins. And I believe this is one of the reasons why I don't sunburn. Um, because I'm taking the omegas that are in here along with the other vitamins that my cells are able to um, absorb what they need and to protect my body from what they don't um, and the bad. Um, another thing that you can do if you know that you burn very easily is find a sunscreen that's zinc oxide, okay? This is not necessarily a sunscreen. This is actually a baby butt cream, okay? But they put zinc oxide in the butt cream. And what I love about doTERRA's is that it's it's not, sometimes when you put those zinc oxide on, you're like white, right? This has a little bit of that film, but a lot of it really does absorb and you don't really see it. I actually use this on my husband because he's bald and, you know, that's a sensitive area. So we make sure that we put this on him when he's actually in the sun. So zinc oxide um, with it in it is, is great as a sun block or if you're maybe going to somewhere near the equator, Mexico, somewhere like that, that you know the sun's even hotter, this might be something you want to take. The third thing that I wanted to talk about was um, what we actually used. Me and the kids have put this on our faces and on our shoulders um, anytime that we went somewhere that we were going to be in the sun all day. And it is called Yarrow Palm. This is Yarrow essential oil mixed with pomegranate seed oil. It's a, got a low SPF, but you guys, this worked amazing for us. Okay, now I know the color is blue, but it is not going to be blue on you. So look see that the blue color 
This is not only great to help with the sun, um, but it's also just good for overall skin health. If you got dry skin, I actually have rubbed this into my hands. Um, a lot of times, because we're in chlorinated pools, um, it dries out my skin. And so I will put Yarrow Palm on and it will actually help to moisturize it as well. But it also is an amazing um, protectant from the skin because you guys, what we need is to heat higher antioxidants, which is the Lifelong Vitality Pack, your fruits and your vegetables. That is also going to protect from the free radicals from the sun. So what I wanna get out there is you guys, the sun is not all bad. And you really should allow your body to be out in the sun without sunscreen for 15, 20 minutes a day so that it can get those rays. And then after then, you can add some of the sunscreens that I've talked about today that are safe and effective in order to be able to help you so that you don't sunburn, but that you're able to enjoy the great outdoors even when it's over 100 degrees. All right, thank you all. If you have questions, I would love to hear from you. Go ahead and mark below and I will be back with some more helpful tips in the future. Thank you.